Good morning, brethren. Good morning. I wanted to begin with a phrase out of the fourth chapter of Zechariah, verse 10. He says, For who hath despised the day of small things? I wanted to consider these small things for just a few, moment, a few moments. There is a tendency or a temptation to despise things that seem to be smaller than others. The larger things don't tend to get looked over so easily, but the small things, there's a temptation to forget about them or to let them elude you. But I wanted to encourage you today not to be as those who despise the small things, small beginnings. Don't look over the small things because those are the things that are going to sustain your hope in the midst of trial. Those small things will comfort your heart and actually confirm your heart in times when you have great need of that. Those small tokens are meant to build upon one another. So if you miss them, Amen. you're not going to have the building material to construct in a time of peace. Those small things are very important. Small does not equal insignificant. Amen. So don't let those small things elude you. Our ability to see the small things and then be able to rejoice in them actually trains us and conditions us to see the larger things more appropriately. Actually, when the larger things come, you'll look with more, with more of an eye for detail. And you'll actually gain more out of the larger things when you've been faithful in seeing those smaller things all along the way. And actually, whenever you look at those larger things, you're going to realize they're made up of smaller things. <laughs> they're all placed on top, top of one another. If we choose to look over those small things, it could harden our perception or awareness so that we would be more dull. Even to the larger things, they wouldn't seem as significant. So some of the things in Scripture that began small but didn't stay that way, it was considering in Daniel that stone that was cut out without hands that crushed the um, idol in Nebuchadnezzar's dream. It began very small, but at the, in the end it filled the whole earth. It didn't remain small. It was just a beginning. Mm -hmm. Also the mustard seed. It says it's, it's less than the least of all the seeds of the earth, but when it is matured, then it's greater than all the rest of the herbs of the field. And that's a parable of our faith. Our faith might begin small, but that's just a seed not intended to remain small. Don't despise the day of small things. Also in 1 Kings 18, Elijah sent his servant to look for the sign of the abundance of rain that he heard coming, and he sent him seven times. He came back six of those times, and he didn't see anything at all. But the seventh time he went out, and he said he saw a small cloud rising out of the midst of the sea, about the size of a man's hand. But that small beginning was what brought the abundance of rain after the three-year drought. Let us not despise those small things. The boy with the small lunch, Andrew actually despised that lunch. He brought him to Jesus. He said, here's this lunch, but... What is that among so many? That was despising the small things. Let us not be like that because in the hands of Jesus, that lunch fed thousands of people that day. So what can these small things be in our lives? Just likening it, up, <clears throat> excuse me, likening it unto our walk of faith. What can these small things be? Seemingly small. <laughs> it can be growth. You can notice things in yourself, and it's, it's progress. It's taking a step forward, but it seems so small. Maybe it seems so ins insignificant, but don't despise the day of small beginnings. Yeah. What about victories? Small victories? Is that even real? <laughs> a small victory is not sm so small. It can lead to the, to the end, a victorious end of the great battle. Seemingly small accomplishments. Whenever you accomplish something, you have a sense of satisfaction. And then you look at some other things that may need to be done and then get overwhelmed with the small thing that you accomplished. But don't despise those days of small things. Small accomplishments will lead to the culmination of the end. Amen. Sometimes we're tempted also to think of our insights as small or insignificant. Something that you've seen in the truth, well, maybe Brother Gibbons known that for years and years and years. I know I've struggled with that in the past. But that's a small thing that we don't want to despise. All these insights that the Lord gives to you are not small because they're part of the whole. These things are uh, meant to minister to us. Our ministries, your part in the body. 
It's not a small thing. I uh, don't remember what Judah and I were talking about the other day, but he said something about just being a small part. And I said, yeah, that little toe of yours or, or that bone in your ear that's so little, tiny. You can't do without them, though. Every part of the body of Christ is also significant, no matter how small it seems to be. Let us not despise the day of small things. These small things are like a seed. They are a sign. They are a promise or a surety and earnest of the things that are to come. So what do you do with these small things? We don't want to despise them. What do you do with them? You want to cultivate them and nourish them. We want to treasure them and ponder them because that's when they'll be able to expand and increase as we meditate upon them. Don't let them escape or elude you, but protect them and use them. Speak of them. That's one of the things that we're here to do this morning. This morning as we come together, we may have something that we thought was a small thing, but when we come into this environment and we speak of those things together, first of all, it's going to enlarge in our own mind and understanding. And then when it's put out with the rest of the things that the brethren have brought this morning, then it's going to be a part of the whole that without it, it wouldn't have been complete. It wouldn't have been the whole. As we speak of them with the brethren, that small thing that you may have thought small in your own mind may be the very thing that another brother needs to finish up some things he had been seeking, make the connection between these truths that he was struggling with, and that small thing that you added brought this to light in his own, and then he's able to share it with you, and you have more than what you began with in the first place. So don't despise the day of small things, but let's take the opportunity this morning to help one another enlarge them and grow on them. Amen. We're going to open now with a word of prayer.